te recorden. Dus, even ietsje hoger nog. Dat is ietsje aan de nagekant. Nee, dit is echt... Uh, het is een uh, apparaatje wat hij heeft ontwikkeld. Ja. Om uh, uh, je oren te beschermen tegen water en vocht en kou. Oké. Okay. Terwijl je wel um, hoort. Oh, ja. Dus hij, hij, hij komt zelf uit de gehoorbescherming. Oh, leuk. Ja. Dus hij weet er alles van, van, van nou ja, uh, wat, wat jullie hier doen. Ja. Ja. Hij, hij loopt er op te nemen hoor. Maar je, ja, je ziet wel, je ziet alleen mijn gezicht. Ja. Hij weet alles van gehoorbescherming, maar hij weet eigenlijk, uh, uh, of tenminste, hij heeft de gehoorbescherming, daar heeft hij een filter in gebouwd. En dat is eigenlijk de uitvinding. Oké. Okay. Ja, ja. Dus het is, uh, hij maakt precies hetzelfde als professionele gehoorbescherming, maar dan bouwt hij er een filter in, wat zeg maar ja, door, het hele, door de hele plug heen zit. Ja, mooi. Ja. Dus dat okay. is het idee. Nou, als dat uh, gaat lukken, dan uh, zijn we er blij mee, toch? Ik, uh, ik had verwacht dat er nog iemand zou komen, maar die zou naar mij toe komen en die is het niet. Dus het okay. kan zijn dat zij hierheen komt. Of dat ze gewoon te laat is. Kan ook, ja zeker. Dat is gewoon <laughs> allemaal mogelijk. Mm -hmm. uh, ja. nou, u wel eens een afdruk van uw oor laten maken? Ik nee, nog nooit. Nog nooit, oké. Okay. We gebruiken dan uh, voor het maken van zo'n afdruk eerst een watje voor in de hoorgang. Ja. Zo'n watje plaatsen we in de hoorgang op een plek waar uh, het ook gevoelig is. Dus het kan uh, gevoelig zijn en het kan zijn dat u moet hoesten ervan. Oké. Okay. Kuffreflex op die plek. Cool. Nou, daarna dan plaatsen we de afdruk, het afdrukmateriaal. En dat is een beetje fris. En dan hoort u natuurlijk even een stuk minder. Daar is natuurlijk ook die ontwikkeling voor ja. gaande. En dat uh, duurt ongeveer drie tot vijf minuten. Dat haalt er dan uit. Dan hebben we een uh, mal van de voorgang. Mag ik een fotootje maken van de... Ja, tuurlijk. Ik zal het even eerst zo doen. Dit... Is het, is het oké? Okay? Ik, uh, ik spreek je Engels. Yes, Oké, okay, cool. So, I'm here at the audition. Audition is... Audiologist. Audiologist. And we are here to make molds of my ear. Why is that? For a new invention of Norman Sekula, who is the inventor of a new type of hearing protection, or ear protection, I must say, for letting sound through, but not letting water, wind, and cold in. So we're here going to be one of the first on the planet to experience this cool invention. And for this invention, we need the size and the measurements of the inner ear. So the lady here, who is not going to be in the image, is going to put in a plastic mass in my ear. And when she pulls out, she pulls out the entire inner part of my head, brain and everything. Uh, well, I hope not, but uh, that's what is going to happen. So let's see how she does. I make some pictures of all the tools she has, so I put them later in. And uh, pray for me that I will survive this torture. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. Now. So if you can say what you do exactly, then uh, that would be really nice. Yes, of course. Well, I've got all the tools ready. I've placed them on the table. And I will use them to make the impression of the ear canal and the ear shell. We can take some pictures of it. I won't take pictures of you. <laughs> this this looks this looks like like medieval torture. Yes, yes, it does, but it isn't. <laughs> it is. There's a, there's some pliers and there's some orange-looking uh, paste. I think that's the mask that is going to be in my ear, and that's not enough to fill my whole head. So I hope it's not leaking somewhere. <laughs> and uh, there's some some. I would say uh, cotton stops. Yes. That is for, for making a barrier between the, the plastic mass and the real brain, the real me, I would say. Yes, yes, we don't want to uh, let it through to the uh, eardrum and through the brain, because that cool. would be very, very difficult to handle. So she, she will do one. One will, you will see from that side, that side the other one. Uh, we will uh, the switch the, oh, uh, we turn. the chair. That's, cool. Uh, that so you can, you can see everything that's happening. I hope my ears are clean. Yes, I heard that one, one in the 50, two in the 100, the ears are so dirty that they cannot make a proper mold. Yes, is that correct? True. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, ho I hope I'm not in this one to 2%. No, no, no. But no, no, we no. will see. We will see. I will first cool. check the ear. All right. So we'll check the ear on the left side first. Okay. Do I need to do something for the rest? No, you can just okay. sit down and 
okay. have a look inside of it. I will move the ear shell to be, take a better look. Okay. That's nice, yeah. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the other not, side. Not too dirty? No, but it is a little dry. Okay. Do you clean it yourself? Uh, yes. Okay, that might be the case why it's so dry. Uh, there's always earwax inside of the ear canal. Yeah. And earwax is necessary for the skin to be healthy uh, and also for the ear to have a better protection. Okay. So getting rid of the earwax is something that's, uh, that's highly recommended not to do. Not to do? Yes, the doctors always say don't do it. Okay. So, so my ears are too clean. <laughs> Can you imagine? If you look at my room, you, you would not believe this. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, the ear does clean itself, so you don't have to clean it at all. Okay. If you do uh, feel like it's itching because it is dry now, then you can put on inside of the ear a little drop of uh, olive oil for the salads. Okay. And uh, that will be uh, for um, making it a little bit moist again. Yeah. And it will be less itchy. Because okay. Because it needs to um, to become better skin again. Okay. Well, the the the. the stupid thing is, I never really realized what a surf ear is. I don't know if you do, guys, but do you do you know what a surf ear is? Uh, depends, because we maybe call it in Dutch a little bit different. Well, it is in the surfer's scene, it is called a surf ear. A surf ear is that your ear is exposed to cold and wind and water so much that the cartilage of your ear is slowly tightening uh, the hole. Yeah. And that is a bad news, because then you can't Finally, you can't hear anymore, and in order to operate that, they have to drill out this cartilage. Yes, it's bone. And the drill that is used for that is having such a high volume sound that it can damage your hearing abilities. So it is better safe to be sorry, better to be safe than sorry, I would say, and get a kind of ear protection that is good for you. Yes. So that's why we're here. So let's see. We call that uh, exostose. Exostose, that's the scientific name. Yeah. I'm learning a lot today, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> Exostose. Exostose. Cool. Yes. I will so. put in the foam in the All ear right. first, and um, it will protect the eardrum and everything. So this looks like a lot like a mini tampon. It's a little thread with a little piece of, well, I would say, cotton. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Like this, yeah. And uh, that, that is the separation between the brain, the real me, and the plastic. Yeah. So. <laughs> I will put it inside of the ear canal. Yes. So it might be a little bit sensitive when we go a little bit further. Ahead. Okay. This is. Okay. I like this. I never get so much attention in my ears. <laughs> this is really cool. Can you see it? Yes. But the ear is always turning around inside of the ear canal. So okay. we we'll have to twist it to make sure that we see everything properly. Okay, it's not a straight channel, it's, uh, it's yes. curved. Yes, and it's for the protection of the eardrum. And okay. also the sound will be uh, coming through in a certain way. The okay. sound needs to be lifted a little bit by the ear canal, so we can hear better uh, for words. And this sound. is a funny story I have to tell you. My dad was a biology teacher, and for one of his classes, he made a massive, massive copy of my ear for wood. And he made a little tube on it. And if you put it in front of your ear and somebody was whispering, this wooden ear was sufficient to amplify the sound so much that you heard way better. So this whole ear and also the channel are really to amplify and magnify every tiny little sound, even if you whisper. So that's why this ear is looking like this. I'm Very learning. Okay. I hope I don't take too much time of you. No, I think it's really nice. I've never experienced anything like this, so... <laughs> most, most people that come here, they, they don't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's not the case. <laughs> it's not the case today. I'm going to put in the um, uh, impression material, so it will be a little bit cold. You will okay. hear less on that side. Try not to move uh, too much of the uh, bone structure in your head, so don't talk too much while it is inside. So if you need to say anything now, then you okay. can say now. 
I will shut my mouth, mouth now and uh, I will keep the stuff in my ear. It's looking like a, I would say a taser gun and there's one um, canister of white stuff and one canister of orange stuff and these two are mixed. I guess it's a sort of silicon mask yes. and that's what is going in my ear. Yeah. And it is nice because the orange color reminds me of my Dutch kingdom. <laughs> so it's really cool. Let's see how it's going. And yeah, there's a tube on top of the, the material that will mix it up. Yeah, it's a mix.